Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Geared Mega Minx. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if there's a special name for it or anything. Ah, there we go. And here it is. Okay. Oh wow, it seems tiny. Okay. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Oh, interesting. Oh wow, this is... Oh my, this is nothing like I've ever seen before. Yeah, so another Oscar puzzle. Wow. Okay, well, I'll have to play around with this, probably give it some lubrication, and I'll get back to you guys. Man, so when I started playing with this, I did not know where to begin. I was totally lost. But after I started solving it, I found it was very simple, and within, like... 20 minutes, I had it solved. And I, I was wondering about this. I was like, no way, I figured this out. So I took it apart, and it actually uses the same mechanism as the gear cube. The only difference being is that it's just shaved down on all of the sides into a dodecahedron. So you have a lot of the same characteristics. You can turn this side over and over until all the sides match up, and then the gears will be slightly rotated. Only this time, it's a bit shape-shifting. I guess it was in the in the other cube as well. Yep, and then a third time. And there we are. So yes, if you have the gear cube, you're definitely going to be able to figure out how to solve this one easily. I mean, I do solve it a little bit differently, but it's pretty much the same. As for turning quality out of the box, it's fairly decent. It's a bit rough, but after I show you the mechanism here, I'm going to give it a little bit of lubrication. So yeah, let me show you the mechanism. Like, rotate one of the layers 45 degrees, just like on any typical 3x3, and just that can pop out the edge. So yeah, you see the typical 3x3 core in there, and here are the pieces. This is a corner piece and an edge piece. You can see the little gear spins around there, and it just fits right in there with the corner, and the gear turns around it. Then here's a little look at the mechanism as the whole thing is turning from the inside a little bit. One's popping out there. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, and trying to put this back together, I'm having a little bit difficulty getting all the gears lined up. So, yeah, you may want to take out no more than a few pieces if you really want to see the mechanism for yourself. But, yeah, I'm having a bit of difficulty here. So, if you're not, if you're not terribly curious at the mechanisms, then... Yeah, just don't worry about it, because these gears can be a bit of a pain to align. There, so now that I got them all straightened out, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some lubricant in there. And it looks like I can just misalign the layers to open up a gap down in the middle that I can get my tube down into. Alright, so there is definitely a big improvement after lubricating it. And just for the record, I also put in some some lubricant down into like the four corners of each centerpiece. At least this is what the centerpiece would be on a 3x3. Down in there, down in there. Because a lot of these... Let's see if I can get a good glare. Yeah, you can kind of see that the corner and the edge piece there go over that centerpiece. So you want to get the lubrication down in there, and that helped a lot too. But as I was solving it, I realized that these centers got oriented before. And one problem with this puzzle is that the center caps like to pop a lot. So every time I saw this prior, I thought that the caps had just popped off and I just put them on wrong. But really, the, it's, they didn't pop off in that time, that time I solved it. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to get those fixed. So I guess it wasn't so easy to solve after. After all, <laughs> well, hopefully it won't be too bad. But meanwhile, since these um, the caps do pop off pretty easily, I would. It is kind of nice that um, companies do that because then all the everyone can adjust the puzzle to their own tensions, and then they can super glue the caps down when they want. I got this puzzle from Mefferts.com, and it comes in one and two versions. I got the one where the stickers cover the most surface area, and there's also one available where there isn't so many pointy ends. So the problem with this kind of puzzle is that the ends can kind of peel off sometimes, and yeah, you can kind of see it happening there. So I'm probably going to take my shellac coating stuff and spray it on that. I have a whole video dedicated to that too, so that might be worth it. Alright, so I'll finish up this video with a quick solve of the puzzle, so if you don't care to figure out how to solve it yourself, or you just want to see how it works and such, then you can watch through this, but if you want to figure it out for yourself, you may want to stop watching now. Okay, so that looks mixed up enough, so here we go. Oops. Okay. So, 
Let's see, what do I do here? Gotta turn that around. There we go. Alright, right the centers. And yeah, you can ignore this part of the video. There, there's nothing to see here. Go ahead, go open up a different tab or something. Maybe go watch the tutorial on how to uh, protect your stickers with the shellac coating. Yeah, that that's a good thing to do. There's there's definitely nothing to see here at all. And yep, yeah, no, don't 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 come back yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm almost done. I'm almost. Done. Okay. Okay. And there. There. Okay. Now you can look. Now. Yeah. See. There. I got it completely solved. <laughs> anyway. So yeah. This puzzle is only worth 18 bucks. So I would say this is definitely a good buy to add to your. If you definitely like the Gear Cube, I'm sure you'll like this one just as much. It is nice for a little bit of a change. Not too much of a challenge. Well. Yeah, I don't know quite know. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys about that one. Okay, so if you guys found this review helpful, you can check out the playlist of other reviews that I've made, or you can even subscribe above to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching. I may just have to include that at the end of the video. What? You're saying that, <laughs> but you, you didn't even pause it yet, right? No, it's still going. Ah, ah, yes. <laughs>